five reasons why you should pray and how prayer changes you. And the fifth reason will let you know why you even need Jesus for God to listen to you. If you want to grow more profound in the knowledge of Jesus and if you want to dive deep into the things of the Holy Spirit, check these videos out. So the first reason why you should pray is so that you can be more perceptive of God. When you're more perceptive of God, you're more perceptive of spiritual things, you're more sensitive to the spiritual realm, you're more sensitive to His heart, you're more sensitive to His voice, you're, His sensitivity overall. So when you pray, you spend more time in the Spirit. When you spend more time in the Spirit, you get more familiar with that realm and you become more sensitive and more perceptive of the spiritual things in general. You, you become more sensitive to atmospheres, you become more sensitive to to vibes what people call them but well, that's just a term right that's not what they really are but in order so that you can understand i'm saying that term so you can comprehend what i'm trying to say you're able to be sensitive to atmospheres if there's a bad atmosphere there's a polluted atmosphere somewhere because of for some reason if there's like a an abiding sin like idolatry idol worship or or occultism you're able to to sense the atmosphere because you pray to god and and the holy spirit tells you it's a two-way conversation so you become more sensitive to the spiritual things of God, to the spiritual realm overall when you have the Holy Spirit in you. All right, so that was reason number one. So the second reason why you should pray is because it's so that you can also be more perceptive of God's will in your life. What is God's purpose for you? It's not about your purpose. It's about God's purpose for you. God has a purpose for you. We were not born with our own purpose. No, our purpose comes from God. So God has a purpose for you. God has a purpose for me. When you pray, you ask God what the purpose is and He puts it in your heart. What are you drawn to do for, for His glory? What are you drawn to do for the kingdom of God? What you have a passion to do for the kingdom of God, that can be your purpose. That can be God's purpose for you. That is what He wants to use you for. You have this passion to do this for God. You have this passion to do this for the kingdom of God. That doesn't lead others to sin, but that draws them to holiness to right living and to the heart of God, then that is God's purpose for you. So how do you find that out? By prayer, you talk to God. When you talk to God, you're also perceptive of His heart. You get to know more of Him, you get to know His voice, and if you love God, you want to talk to Him. So that's the second reason why you should pray and how prayer changes you. The third reason and the third way that prayer changes you and is leads in from my second reason to the third reason. If the third reason is if you love God, you would talk to Him. If you love somebody, you would talk to them, wouldn't you? It doesn't make sense if I said I loved you and I wouldn't talk to you. Or if you, you said you love someone, it wouldn't make sense if you say you love someone but you don't talk to them. The same way, if you love God, you would talk to Him. But it's a two-way conversation. It's not a one-way conversation. He talks to you and you talk to Him. Not only is it you venting, and not only is it you worshiping, not only is it you praising and meditating on the things of God, meditating on, on His Word, like the, like the Word of God says, to meditate on His Word day and night, but it's also Him talking to you. It's Him giving you spiritual downloads in your mind, holy downloads, pure da downloads that are pure, downloads that are not corrupt. And God gives you those downloads when you pray. When you pray, you get to know His voice, you're more perceptive of His voice, and if you love God, you will talk to Him, just like any other person. Just like if you loved any other person, you will communicate. The essence of this is communication. Now you can pray on your knees, you can pray standing, you can pray sitting down like I am right now, you can pray while you're driving, you can pray while you're showering, while you're cooking, you can pray whenever and whenever. You don't even have to use words to talk to God. You can just mouth the words or you can, you can just be intentional about talking to God. And if you're in Christ, if Christ abides in you, if you have the Holy Spirit, and if you have faith, God will hear you and God will listen. So the fourth way and the fourth reason why you should pray and how prayer changes you is that you get to know God on a more profound level. If you want to go deeper with God, I'm saying if you really, really want to go deep with God, you have to pray. If you want to go deep and profound with God, you have to fast. You have to pray and you have to read the word. The best way for you to distinguish between the voice of God and not the voice of God is the scriptures. The scriptures is the fine line that determines what is God and what is not of God. The scriptures is the easiest way you can tell if God is speaking to you or if it's just your own thoughts or if it's not God. If it goes against the word of God, if it goes against his heart, if it goes against the Bible, then it is not of God. God will never contradict himself. If it goes, uh, if it supports the, if it is supported by the word, if the word backs it up, if, the, if it is biblical, and if you have the faith to back it up, 
then you can say that it was God. So if you want to go more profound with God, if you want to go in the waters, if you want to walk on the waters with the Lord Jesus, if you want to dive deep with the Lord into the depths, the deep profound, the profound things of the Spirit, you should pray. Now I want to make another video about praying in tongues, but praying in tongues is one of the best ways that you can pray. Praying in tongues is a recommended way to pray according to the Word of God. The Word says to pray in the Spirit at all times. So when you pray in the Spirit, you pray in tongues, you're praying yourself into the will of God. Meaning you go more profound, you get more familiar with the spiritual realm, you go deep, you go profound. And you get to know the, the deeper things of God, you get to, to know the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ when you become a believer, but you get to know the mind of Christ, you become more familiar with it. You begin to explore it, if you will, when you pray. When you pray and when you fast and when you consecrate and you dive deep in the word. Or you don't have to, you, you don't always hear God when you're reading the word. Sometimes God will speak to you like he's speaking to me right now when I'm talking to you. He's inspiring the words and I'm relaying to you. So God can talk to you wherever you are. But the best way is to read the scriptures and to pray so that you can know his voice. Alright, so that was the fourth reason how prayer changes you and why you should pray. Now the fifth reason why you should pray and the last reason it should be the one that gets you to pray. This is the one that should, that should concern you to turn to Jesus so that you can pray. So it says in the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31, that God does not listen to sinners, but He gladly listens to those that do the will of God and worship Him in spirit. Meaning, if you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, if Jesus is not your Lord, if Jesus is not the one calling the shots in your life, if Jesus is not your ruler, your Lord, then God might hear you, but He will not listen to you. That's what it says in John 9, 31. So we have to come to Christ in order for God to even listen to us. We have to be washed by the blood. Jesus is our intercessor. Without that intercessor, God does not know us. It's that simple. In Matthew 12, Jesus denied people that claim to know God. They claim to do miracles, cast out devils, and prophesy. Those are considered profound things of God. But Jesus didn't know them because they didn't know Jesus themselves. They didn't have the Holy Spirit living in them. So because they did not have the Holy Spirit living in them, God didn't know them. Therefore, therefore, He never listened to a prayer that they said. References are Matthew chapter 12, and then you also have John chapter 9, verse 31. So those are five reasons how prayer changes you and five reasons why you should pray.